obviously if if tides gets kind of a slow start then you know monk could uh just miracle him out by turn seven with the sap on a taunt but we'll we see all right this is going to be it winner of this game moves on to day number two and a chance to fight for the deck war season one championship as well as the 1.5 uh, $1,500 prize pool that we have for the first and second place. Yeah, and, uh, okay. you know, this kind of wasn't the four that uh, Tides wanted to see. This other four isn't that much better, but he does have a giant, and he's going second, so... Yeah, that's something that's uh, good. Yeah, pretty pretty important to be going second versus uh, Miracle Rogue, and also with Handlock. Uh, so there is some question as to what... There is some question was when to when to use the coin because if you don't start out with the Twilight Drake, um, then you don't necessarily have that turn three coin into Twilight Drake play. And some folks have been coining in turn one to draw. What do you yeah. think about it? Uh, you know, it's it's kind of an experience thing. Uh, coining on turn one to draw is kind of interesting play. I I actually don't like it if my hand is okay. Uh, just okay. because, I mean, I, I'd rather use the coin to gain a little bit of tempo later rather than just kind of turn it into another card. Um, so you'd prefer I mean, you to can... just like throw down like a Sun Fairy Protector or something like that? Because you have to throw down s some type of minion. Uh, in this particular case, he's, he's able to Mortal Coil this. Yeah, I mean, he can Mortal Coil here. He is using the coin so that... Yeah next turn he can tap and uh, not overdraw on the turn after. Um. Alright, so uh, it, this, stuff, this all works out for him, obviously, because he's able yeah. to effectively use this, the coin and, and gain a card, too. Like, cycle the yeah, card this has worked stuff. out very well so far for Tides. Mm -hmm. um, that giant coming down in uh, two turns can start taking off just giant chunks of Monk's life total. So... Uh, we'll we'll see. He even has like a one Sun Fury Protector. So yep, if Monk gets maybe a little overzealous oh. with a really quick sap, then uh, it might be able to punish him if uh, Monk doesn't sap after the taunt. He might not actually even open with a, gi a giant here. He might start with a Watcher because uh, he just drew the Watcher. He has the Owl too. He's got a Sun Fury, which we we'll probably want to save for all the giants. Um, so he's got a lot of good options next turn. We'll see what Monk does. In, uh, yeah, I maybe mean, he needs to get set up here. I feel like Monk uh, has hasn't gotten any pressure on the board, and you need some minions sometimes as a Miracle Rogue to even be able to remove at least one of these giants. You know, help you out so you don't have to use yeah. all your spells just to remove it. Yeah, that's very true. And uh, you know, I think Monk probably should have also hit with the dagger last turn. I mean, mm, he either. Yeah. I mean, if he had deadly if poison, then he probably poison. should have poisoned as well. But uh, okay. good point. unless he wants to like poison and SI seven agent here, which actually isn't that unreasonable. But uh, yeah, I mean he's got to get some pressure on the board soon. Otherwise, Tides is just gonna start throwing giants at him, and it's not gonna work out too well. Okay, so there's right, a deadly, so he poison. Has deadly poison, and that's uh, you're kind of right on with uh, why he ended up saving it. And Edwin, Edwin he just loves please. those four four Edwins, man. <laughs> <laughs> he, always, he never goes 6-6, six, six. he never goes 8-8. Eight, eight. He's like, ah, 4-4 four, four Always 4-4. Cool. Four, four. I don't want to get 4-4 four, four is a good number. Exactly. Everybody's a priest, right? <laughs> right, right. Okay, so he's got a 3-mana Melon Giant if he wants it. Um, I don't know. He's really think, he's thinking about it. It's a little bit... Yeah. He's, I think he's a little afraid of the... A little afraid of his health. At this point, but you know he does have a molten a molten giant too, which uh, he could get a serious discount with. Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't like throwing down ancient watcher and then taunting just because he doesn't have another taunt. And uh, I mean, if he does just ancient watcher and taunt up, mm -hmm. then monk has a very easy clear if he has a blade flurry with uh, backstab. And uh, you know, if he had a gadgetson, that's a that's a huge turn potentially for monk. And then tides would just be way, way behind. The alternative, of course, is just playing the giant. But is Monk running uh, BGH? Uh, is Monk is deck? not running. Not, not in the. He is play. not running Big Game Hunter. So that's actually a pretty safe giant. But uh, 
I mean, Tides doesn't actually know that, so... He's got to be feeling a little bit antsy, just because Monk might have basically a perfect answer. Okay, so Monk... You know, if he if he ends up sabbing this, he's going to be burning a card here. Yeah, I mean, Tides needs to get some kind of taunters out, start protecting his life total from all these hits, but uh, it's going to be difficult. Is that a sap? Alright, what he does here. Yeah, it feels like yep, it. That I is mean, a sap. Yep, it's a sap, and you got to hope he doesn't burn another Giant or a Twilight Drake, because those are really the key, key cards for him. Well, I think at this point, Tides' key cards are going to be uh, Taunt oh. Givers. Oh, Taunt Givers, I mean, givers, he burns yeah. a Drake, but that's... I mean, is that really that important? You gotta uh, taunt something. <laughs> yeah, you gotta taunt something, but he's got a Watcher, and he's got a Giant. Uh, I like this play here a lot, just because you can taunt Watcher and Giant next turn. Um, and yeah, Monk sure. really doesn't seem like he has a lot of answer. Although, I mean, he, Tides could just be dead here. Leroy, Shadow Step, Prep Eviscerate, or Prep Cold Blood is, is lethal. It is lethal, but that's a lot of right cards. <laughs> Only in those yeah, six I mean, cards right there. Just saying, it, it does happen. It uh, definitely does happen, yeah. Alright, so Gadget in here is maybe going to get concealed? Yeah, there's that conceal. Stealthy Gadget in, Stealthy Edwin. Okay, so I think we're going to have to see a taunt here, uh, even if it is the Ancient yeah. Watcher in the taunt. But no but... question about it. Whoa, 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 where's he putting it? Oh, he's going to put it on whoa. that side? Oh, he's going to actually remove it. Oh, he's going to Shadow it. Flame. All right. Oh, nice. Good play there. I still think that's a little bit dangerous, but uh, yeah, definitely good to get that gadget in off of the board as soon as possible. It's probably better than just taunting up. Okay, let's see. Oh, another yeah, just in number here. two. <laughs> wow. All right, backstab. Probably the owl or the well. No, maybe the giant actually. Yeah, he does backstab the giant, and he looks like Monk's probably going to clear that thing out as well. <laughs> maybe some kind of uh, blade flurry, eviscerate kind of thing. And there's the blade flurry. Yeah, there's the blade flurry. It's going to help out for the giant. And you know what? Uh, Tides. Well, actually, Tides goes down to four now, so he's going to be able to get the molten giant out next turn. And this is kind of how it goes against against uh, Handlock when you're a miracle, miracle rogue. Um, you know, the Handlock's just going to want you to, to burn as many of your removal spells into that first giant, and then they're just going to put up another giant. And uh, yep. a lot of times, you don't have enough <laughs> for the for the Monk's, second giant, much less the third one. No, uh, Monk has to backstab his own. Uh, his own gadgets him to draw another card, so... Yeah, that's pretty rough. Um, Hyatt has to be feeling really good here. Well, kind of good and bad. I mean, he is down to, like, 14. Yeah. It is a little scary. And Monk's going to... Oh, he's just going to shiv the giant. Okay. Okay. Hyatt's actually... Is he running Leroy? Like, he's actually got to draw to... Yeah, kill definitely. This I turn. think he's... Oh, he, do, he won't have the mana for it. Derp. Okay, so Soulfire... Um, yeah. hmm. I think this is a pretty clear giant give both taunt soul fire the gadgets in and hit for eight uh, at this point monk has to have a pretty specific hand to to kill him and uh, it's going to be hard to see monk uh, getting through both of those giants yeah I think there's um, what, is he, what is he thinking about um Faceless thing? Uh, no, no, faceless thing is no better no. than actually taunting the the full eight eight giant here. So, yeah. Yep. He's gonna go ahead and do that play that you were mentioning there, to... and then hit to the face, and it's basically a forced play. He just ha he has to throw down those taunts, and you know at this point it's kind of like, well, monk, if you have it, you have it. But what could yeah. he have? <laughs> Let's yeah. see what he. Yeah. I mean, this could uh, be something like a uh, like sap and si seven agent. Oh. Yeah, true. Uh, that would be like really, really bad for Tides because he'd be needing to find a taunt giver as well, and he's only got, you know, he's got a reasonable That's chance. That's a good point, to man. Sap, Sap SI agent would be brutal here, but he does have a draw for lethal in the form of Leroy, much less just what he has on the board. Wouldn't, uh, he wouldn't quite have a draw for lethal just because of a. 
Oh, the mana. Mana is just one yeah, short. Yeah. yeah, that's true. One short in the mana. Uh, there's an SI agent, but does he have sap? No, he doesn't. So. Oh, he's top pixel fire. Oh, nice. So Tides is gonna take this. What a close series wow. between between Mog. He's gonna take the series three two, and oh, it could have gone either way there. I felt like at the towards the end. Uh,